Hi guys, it's Tim and hopefully you've just watched my quick walk round of the Mark IIs that are here for the London Cartel Mark II London Cruise. So I've just jumped in the car, I'm going to park now because we kind of need to get all the Mark IIs lined up for this iconic sort of massive row of Mark IIs down here in central London. So I'm just fighting my way back round through London traffic, it's what is it? It's quarter past seven on a Saturday evening. So it's getting pretty busy down here in London. Now I'm looking at it. I just need to cut across this traffic in a minute and get myself parked up. And there we are, just behind this red GTI. We'll do nicely. Now, if you saw the live stream, you'll see that we're on the other side of the road. So it's gone seven, so we can line up in the red zone. So starting off, we've got Ben, one of the organizers, blue GTIs at the front there. And as we walk down the line, you can see there's lots of different Mark IIs. So we've got shiny ones, we've got matte black ones. Um, there's a lot of cars here that people really put their individual stamp on. So as we walk down, we've got, this is interesting, it's Harlequin style Mark II really does stand out it's got a quite a funky exhaust on it as well so um yeah you definitely notice that coming then we've got waltz mark ii on air ride here we saw that in the online show and shine and then we've got um we've just got mark twos as far as you can see down here and of course we've got johnny's mark ii jetta coupe in nevada beige here um johnny wasn't sure if he was going to make it so it's great mate i'm glad you made it it was good to talk to you um and yeah fair play your car looks amazing um, we've got this blue one with red leather interior. Big fan of red leather, so I appreciated that. We've got this uh, Pastina Blue Mark II, which was really clean. And of course, we've got Julia's 1.3. Um, and again, I'm so pleased you got it, Julia. You said a year ago you were going to get a Mark II, and you've got it. So fair play to you. And we've got Lewis's BBS kitted Mark II GTI here. Looking good. Nice to meet you last night, Lewis. And um, we've got Matt's immaculate red a reg gti with sort of old school recaros with fishnet headrests um and a set of bbs wheels on it really tidy matt nice car and then we've got matt's mrs car um with two-tone leather interior in it looking good yeah another bbs kit on a mark ii um someone once said bbs kits were rare but i don't think so so looking at this um again another tidy mark ii here in um in red with the red leather centers as well on the seats and I think his missus even had a red jacket on as well just to match the car now that's commitment for you I really like this race style mark II with buckets harnesses and wide wheel arches really clean at this gray mark II here and then we've got this absolute unit VR6 turbo that thing was a monster again just more super clean mark twos um, I mean if you like OE we've got this one here just a B-play GTI again super original super clean absolute credit to its owner um, and then of course we've just got a Jetta Coupe I mean I'm sure we've all seen this one before and then just behind me there was this satin black mark II with a laced uh, roof it had uh, some gold wheels some gold accents on the door handles to go with the uh, JPS sticker on the back so since the last time we saw Dan's Mark II, he's fitted this BBS body kit to it. Fair play, Dan. And again, just more super clean GTIs. And a Deutsche Post style Mark II in bright yellow, what's not to like. So as, uh, as the evening drew on um, and the sun started to go down, we got to find out where our next location was. So guys, after an hour and a half, walking around, looking at the cars, chatting to, uh, chatting to the owners, we're now on the move so we're off to our first stop which is imperial college in london so it's pretty cool actually driving through the city it's weird because with everything that's been going on the streets actually are quite empty so there's not many cars we uh yeah we're making much better progress than i thought we would so apparently it's 10 minutes around the corner traffic permitting and obviously there is not much traffic so I've got a red GTI in front of me with a BBS kit on which is pretty cool so I've got my sat nav on but to be honest I'm just gonna follow him and we should be at the first location in the next couple of minutes we've just arrived and the heavens have opened yeah it's absolutely tipping it down here we're just lining the cars up in front of Imperial College for some photos and yeah, we're going to get very wet.
So the rain has stopped and we've got the cars lined up, so it looks really good. Um, we've been here probably about 45 minutes, maybe an hour. So we're just getting the last photos and then we're gonna head off to the next location. So it's 10 o'clock and we're leaving for our next location. So we started off at Embankment and then we've come here to Imperial College. So we're now about to head off to the next location and uh, and get some food actually. I think they said there's a there's a pizza truck there. Could do with something to eat. It's getting a bit late. It's a bit cold, my feet are wet. But look, um, it's it's been good so far. We've now got um what have we got? We got about 35, 45 minutes with the drive ahead of us. So it's gonna be, um, yeah, it's gonna be a good drive through London. Hopefully we can stay in convoy as well. So we can, we can kind of at least get to see some other cars as we're going by. So we're gonna go over Vauxhall Bridge, over to Elephant and Castle, and then uh, on to the next location. So, uh, so guys, let's, uh, let's, let's see how we go. So I guess this is what it's all about, driving through central London at night with a bunch of Mark IIs. So I've got Mark IIs in front of me, I've got Mark IIs behind me, and yeah, it's, do you know what? London's really cool at night. We're just, uh, we're just about to come past Harrods. And there's McDonald's. Oh. So we're at Elephant and Castle. We're about 25 minutes away. So we're just rolling through London traffic and it's, I say it's surprisingly heavy, but it's London. So um, just gotta watch out for the crazy moped riders who clearly do not give a monkeys. Wow, so I'm just, just driving over Tower Bridge now. Um, and do you know what? Um, there's been lots of like, iconic landmarks. I've already driven past and just think, wow, that's really cool. Um, drove past the, um, was it MI6 uh, headquarters? And um, that was kind of cool. And now obviously driving over Tower Bridge as well. Um, wow, it's even got a little crown on top of it and everything. So we're here at Billingsgate Market, which is probably gonna be my last stop of the night. We've got the cars positioned on the center of the roundabout. They're taking some photos, it's gonna look pretty cool. The jet has got a good location, so I'm happy with that. I've even cleaned the, uh, the fog out the windows as well. And shortly after we arrived, we got some company. They just wanted to check that we weren't being a nuisance. So it looks like uh, Canary Wharf security have turned up, but ironically, they're blocking a the bus. So our time here at Billingsgate, um, about three or four different lots of cars were in this centre location here with the traffic lights to uh, to get some photos. So when we when we actually see the professional photographs in the next couple of days, it should look really cool. Now there was talk of pizza when we got here, and this little van here had a couple of pizza ovens in it, but he was the world's worst pizza guy because he ran out about three people before I was due to get some pizza. Right guys, it's 20 past 12, so I think, to be honest, I'm probably gonna call it a night. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Obviously, there's a lot of cool Mark IIs out tonight, and they're not just all the normal sort of show queens that you'd expect, or that maybe you thought were gonna be here. There's a lot of daily driven Mark IIs, a lot of stuff that people have just done their own thing with, which is really cool. Um, it is a long night. There is a lot of moving around and waiting and, Obviously when it was raining, that was a bit of a ball ache as well. But do you know what guys, it's been a great night. I'd thoroughly recommend it. Um, I didn't get any pizza, which is a bit of a shame. Well, actually I got one slice, thank you Ben. Um, but do you know what, I'm gonna stop off at Mackey D's on the way home. I'm probably not gonna be home till gone three now. So um, we're in the center of, we're sort of further into the center of London. So it's another 20 minutes, half hour, just to get back to the edge of London. And then it's two hours for me on from there. So guys, look, I hope this gave you a bit of an idea. Obviously, I'm sorry I couldn't stick around for the whole night, but these guys are probably gonna go on till three, four in the morning. And do you know what? Two hour drive on top of that. Pfft, guys, no, I'm not about that, sorry. So guys, look, I hope you found this, um, this interesting. 
I think next year it will probably be a great event to come to. Remember to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you on the next one.